An educator who was recently named Teacher of the Year is proving she is more than the title deserves. The Wixom teacher took action to save a student's life, and it all happened during class. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell shows us what happened and what your children need to know to protect themselves. We are having a tea party and you are invited. Today, Laura Doran, like she often does, read her second graders at Loon Lake Elementary School in the Wald Lake School District a story. Yesterday, though, her students all went home telling their parents a story about Mrs. Doran. She literally um, saved us from every parent's worst nightmare. Nicholas Cavanaugh came to the school to thank his twin daughters, Riley and Sienna's teacher, for what she did. It happened during snack time. Suddenly, Sienna came up to me and she was um, like clutching at her throat. And I said, can you breathe? Can you cough? And she was just kind of shaking. And I started doing the Heimlich and just like saying to her, come on, cough it up. You can do it. You can do it. You're going to be okay. And um, it felt like a very long time, but I heard a little cough. When the object that was blocking her airway finally came free, it wasn't food as you might assume since it was snack time. No, it was the top of a water bottle, just like this one. Our life was almost forever changed over a bottle cap. So it's something that just had to be told. When I got to the car was when just the gravity like hit me like, oh my gosh, that could have gone, you know, in a way that would have been very tough. Had she delayed or ran for help or called for help, I, I believe we would be having a, a much more tragic conversation right now. Today, this dad sent his daughters to school with water bottles with no cap. I'm going to wrap you in bubble wrap. As for Sienna, she went home from school yesterday to recover from the scare. But today, thanks to Mrs. Dorian, she says she is doing just fine. I said I love you. I love you too. In Wixom, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. We are thankful for our teachers.